Hey lovely, so when I um, was thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I put a filter question out on Instagram um, where I asked like, what do people want to see? And so I recently went back and like took screenshots or, or saved those screenshots into a note. And one of the things people said was like, I just want to know about like everything, like day to day life, um, your work, like just whatever. And so that made me think about like, oh, maybe I can just do a weekly recap where I share some general things that have happened in my life, maybe some things that are on my mind um, and see how they go. And so. Here we are. I tried to do this last week, but my computer wouldn't let me be great. And so here we are, we're gonna try it again this time. And so this is my first weekly uh, recap video. I apologize if any of you hear my cat in the background. He wants some attention or something, but I'll worry about him when I am done. And so um, today is Friday, August 23rd or something like that. And so I just came home from doing a few things. I went to the doctor for um, my second post-op appointment, which went really well. Um, I like wearing a little dress to them when I go to the doctor, especially a doctor where I'm gonna be like doing with my lady parts because it just makes the doctor's visit super easy. You just pull up the dress, they can check they need to check, do any go on. Um, it's still very much summer and hot here in Houston. Uh, people had a little fall this week in other parts of the country. There was no fall that has come this way in Houston. So I got my little sun hat on that I haven't worn in a while. So it was just a fun accessory to throw on today. Um, and because I was also after my doctor's appointment, I went to have lunch with my favorite girl, my mama. We had lunch, um, which we don't get to do very often, particularly on a weekday. Um, while she is retired, I be at work. And so that was a nice little thing to, to do after my post-op um, because also, of course, she's just been very um, concerned about me um, after having surgery since I never like have any health things going on. Um, so, and I am, very much like a mama's girl very spoiled like very like i i am her baby um, and so it was nice just to catch up and chat and kiki a little bit over some food um it's kind of funny taking my mom or taking your parents or anything like to try a new restaurant because you know people older they just they're set in their ways and they like what they like and so she was trying to figure out what she was gonna eat i could tell like she wasn't really feeling her lunch choice um and so when she eats the leftovers she gonna go home and like put some extra herbs and seasonings and stuff on it to hook it up and so that was cute um and so anyway went to lunch with my mom after that and then i went by my job and so I had no intentions of going to my job until it's time to go back to work in a couple weeks. But one of my students um, is about is a 12th grader this year, but she's about to spend a semester in London as a part of a program. So um, I, as a college counselor, one of my roles is to find opportunities for students and support them in applying for these opportunities. Um, it's, it's probably my favorite thing about my role because I feel like so many black and brown students need access to opportunities. Um, they need to experience things to help shape what they want to do in the future and to have, um, to get a foot in. Like these opportunities really can change their college applications. And so super excited for my student. Not, I, I, I like she's a black girl from a low income neighborhood about to spend a semester in London and it didn't cost her any money. Like, yes, I am for that. I am excited for her. And so I just had to make sure that I made my way to see her. I was gonna try to go to the airport tomorrow and see her, but her flight a little earlier than I want to get up. So I decided to just swing by the school and I got her a little card, you know, gave her a little money for some Starbucks or something because like this is an opportunity that's gonna change her world, change her life, change her outlook, shape her future. Um, and I am just so excited and proud of her. It's the kind of thing I wish I knew existed when I was in high school, um, shit, even in college. <laughs> um, and so um, that was very rewarding, but I'm glad to be done with like the schoolhouse and back in my house for a while i know it's back to school season so it worked it looks like it's been a little crazy in the chat when i check here and there or my email here and there but that's not my business i'm gonna worry about that in two weeks um so anyway 
that was what I did today, Friday, but my week has been a little like a mix of like chill and activities. Um, so first thing, let's see, I have some notes, but you know where the notes are in my phone and my phone is where I'm recording this. So I'm gonna just go off the dome. Um, I'm thinking about like today being a bit, little bit active. I feel like I've been a little busy this week um, as I'm getting back to like feeling like myself and being normal, air quotes. Um, I had lunch with friends on Tuesday, which once again, who knows when I'll be able to have lunch on a Tuesday again. I don't know, Christmas break or something like that. So that was nice um, to see, see my girls and just to, you know, chat and catch up. I hadn't seen any, um, anyone seen them in a while. And then um, last night, my partner and I, we went out and had drinks and vibe and people watch, which is like our favorite activity. Um, we love people watching and making up stories. We love people watching. And so we did that. It was fun to get kind of dressed up. I didn't wear a heel because I'm still not eyeing up. I was going to be standing and I don't want to, I'm not at a point where I could be standing in a lounge or a bar for a long period of time in a heel. You know, I can wear a little better, wear the heels a little better now in my uh, healing process, but it was fun and we had a good time. It was like, oh, this feels a little, a little more normal. I'm getting closer and closer to like normalcy. And so that was nice. Um, and then I got up and did my walk. I've been walking every day and I feel very like proud of myself for doing that with some consistency. Um, even though I am ready to run, but my doctor said that I cannot run yet. However, I can start doing a little workout at home, a little a little modified plank or something, um, a little squats. So I'm trying to get my booty back back active, you know what I mean? Um, so that's, I've been a little more outside, but also prioritizing rest um, as I'm like building, like rebuilding my strength and my stamina for like being able to, to go to work in a couple weeks. Um, also, I have been, I shared my video earlier this week of one of my sewing lessons. Um, so over the weekend, I had a sewing lesson where there's this Simon Miller top that I really like, um, but Simon Miller top, not in my budget right now, but also it's on pre-order or something and I want something I can wear soon. And so um, I bought this men's button down, this vintage men's button down last week after I went to the nail shop and took it to my sewing lesson and was like, this is kind of what I have in mind. And so we like started working on that. I love my sewing lessons with Kate because it's not me just like making a tote bag. I have a lot of tote bags, right? Just like making something for the sake of making it. But it's like, what is it that I want to create? What do I have in my mind? And then like, can you show me how to execute this with my basic sewing skills? And so um, we made some progress. I made, I learned how to make a ruffle. Um, which was is used. I'm using it in the back, which I can't wait to show y'all the final final piece. I'm not done yet. Um, and then I learned how to make like a little um, triangular uh, corner. I'm gonna show y'all in the picture, but um, I learned how to do that, which is exciting. Um, so I have another lesson to finish the shirt, um, and I'm not sure when that would be. Maybe like Labor Day weekend or something like that. But I'm excited to get that done, even though I could wear it now, but it's not finished and I wanna wait, wait until I finish it. I also did some homework at home just so I can be working on building my skills of sewing so that I'm not as like stressed <laughs> or anxious when I start trying to press that pedal because something about that just makes me so nervous and like, Ugh, am I gonna fuck up or what? Um, and so um, I, I made a clutch this week or I finished a clutch the other day, which I'm excited about. Um, which really shouldn't be a big deal because I used to make clutches about 12 or so years ago, but I really forgot how to make clutches. Like, I just don't remember that. And so it's, but this was a good like refresher of that skill. Um, and so just kind of excited about learning this new thing and um, getting better each time I'm, I do something. So I don't know what I'm gonna make next or in between, I probably should be making something in between my sewing lesson. But I also wanna work on my Legos because I got it for my birthday and I haven't started on it yet. So that's like on my actual to-do list. Along with um, a DIY that I'm gonna be doing on this vintage desk 
that one of our neighbors put out and that my beau was like, you like this? And I'm like, yes, I do. And so I want to, I'm trying to just kind of figure out exactly what I want to do with the desk. Thinking I'm going to like scrape the sides because it has paneling and do some um, peel and stick wallpaper maybe. But I'm, I'm what I'm really struggling with is whether or not I want to paint the desk or just like stain it. I don't know so I'm just trying to figure that out and so that's something I want to work on coming up and it's on my to-do list for this week as well so we gonna see um, if you have some suggestions for the desk um, feel free to shoot them to me Raquel at consideringlovely.com I would love to see ideas for inspiration um, what else do I have happened to me or, or did I have going on this week oh also I um, ordered a petticoat over the weekend and it came and I wore to church with this little red dress I picked up at Target that I didn't know everybody named Mama had knew about it was talking about because I don't just keep up like that. And I also hadn't been shopping in Target in the clothing section in some long, like a long time. Anyway, I wore this dress and I am just really obsessed with this petticoat. I used to have a vintage petticoat, which I still have, but the, the waistband just really stretched out. So it was time to re-up. Um, and I remember that one time Tabitha the sewer told me that she purchased her petticoats on Amazon So I looked up and I found one did a lot of research trying to find one that's the correct length and all these things So I picked one hoped it would be as full as I wanted Because you just never know when they vacuum seal and put stuff in a box and it's from Amazon. You just never know um, But y'all it arrived and I am so smitten with my petticoat You gonna see me petticoat and every skirt every dress like never before especially once it cools off a little bit because honestly petticoats are lovely but they are hot um in houston it's be hot under there and so once it cools off i'm gonna be wearing a petticoat to work i tried which i never do but that's kind of like a cute little idea like maybe a little little midi skirt and a sneaker i don't know but i really love the petticoat so if you are looking for a petticoat um i will drop the link for the petticoat in um, the description because I really do love it so, so much. I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to talk to y'all about on my weekly recap, but this is why it's good to have notes. So I'm gonna have to figure out a better strategy for like taking a note as opposed to putting it in my phone, maybe writing it down and keeping it with me because I am also very forgetful just in general. I'm a forgetful person. I gotta put everything on the calendar. I have to write everything like I have to take notes. I am a note taker, which is why I like like buying pens and like notebooks and post-its because I am a very forgetful, kind of in a scary way sometimes. So I'm hoping that's not like a precursor for anything in the future, but I am a very forgetful person. Oh, one last thing. Um, so <laughs> on my to-do list, I, have my, I keep a to-do list because I'm forgetful, um, is to make some space in my closet to do a purge to get rid of some things. This is not my closet. This is a rolling rack of blazers because if you listen to my podcast, I talk about all the time how I love blazers. Here is the proof. I have a rolling rack just for blazers and my fur coat or one of my fur coats. But um, um, so I wanna do a purge or, you know, just make some space in my closet. And but I don't want to just donate everything because some of the items are like really dope items. They are items that are been have been gently worn. Um, so I want to do like a sale, but I don't. I feel like setting up setting up a Poshmark is going to be a lot of work. I feel like IG story sales can be hit or miss. You know, it's just I don't know. I feel like I wish I lived like in a city like New York where I could just be like, hey, I'm gonna do a stoop sale. Y'all come. You know, that would be great. But be on the lookout to figure out you know next week to see what I decide but I'm gonna be purging my closet starting probably this weekend so that I can do something with it before I return to work so we gonna see um I feel like I'm forgetting something but whatever I forgot I'll share it another time or just keep it for myself I don't know but I appreciate y'all for watching I hope that you like this new idea of me doing a weekly recap oh that was what I want to talk to y'all about this week see it's how my brain works this week on threads I've been being a little more active on threads since I've been home sitting around resting um and so I've been also like sharing some of my content on threads and so I have these bras um from cup 
Cup, I don't know how you say it, C-U-U-P, which I really love these balconette bras so much. They're mesh, um, and so I love them. I love. I want to wear them in every color, um, but the mesh makes them not like the most realistic of bras, I guess, to own or wear, but I, don't, I love them, and so I'm probably gonna buy some more. But this week, I posted like a Get Ready With Me um, real video for when I went to lunch with my friends. And there's like a brief moment where you, where I'm wearing the mesh bra with the um, skirt that I wear before I do like put the rest of the stuff on. And I say this all the time, like I feel like Instagram years ago started like showing my content to, to weird uncles, weird brothers, weird cousins, weird dads, weird grandpas. Um, because I, I get like strange comments y'all and so like to this week on threads this one guy was like you have some pretty areolas you should show them more often blocked weirdo like like don't be weird on my shit get, like we're all adults a mesh you saw a mesh bra for less a few seconds BFD like we're grown ups here and I wish there was a way to go into Instagram and say just show my stuff to the girls who like fashion or like style or want to you know enjoy having fun getting dressed like I just wish there was a way to say like do not show my content to weirdos because I also get like guys who like bunions so it's like a photo that don't have nothing to do with my feet because I'm never gonna post a foot photo because I don't like my feet um because they do I do have a bunion and you go know, some weirdo then zoomed in on the photo and like oh nice bunion like Instagrams, Meta, whoever, like, quit doing that. Quit showing these weirdos my shit. Um, anyway, so that was that's my that's my rant. <laughs> that's my rant for this week. Like, what? What's what's the answer? What's the answer? Anyway, that's my rant. That, that was a part of my week, and it kind of like grinds my gears, as you can see. And so anyway, I don't want to end on that negative note, but that did like get on my nerves, and I know that's something that like people. You know experience um in the social media space and can come it can come with the territory the weird shit comes with the good shit so anyway that's my week my week look recap for this week i appreciate you all for watching i hope that you enjoy this new series as i recap my weeks week to week um if you have any questions feel free to send them to raquel at consideremelovely.com or drop them in the comments um and let me know um if you enjoy this weekly series of my little uh, recap. I'll be back next week um, with a new recap and I hope that y'all have a great weekend.